Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back, Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. We have to find the domain and range of each of these two relations here, and then we have to state whether or not they are functions. So starting with this first one over here, notice in this graph, we have sort of three sections that we're dealing with. We got this section, then we got a vertical asymptote at negative pi over two. Then we have this section, then we have a vertical asymptote at positive pi over two, and then we have this section over here. So let's start with the uh, domain. So notice that in this case, the x values, they're ranging from negative pi over here to positive pi. But notice as we move from left to right, there are two breaks, these two vertical asymptotes here. So notice that this uh, relation, it's not defined at negative pi over two, and it's not defined at positive pi over two, but every other x value in between negative pi and positive pi, it, um, it is defined. So what we can say is that x is an element from negative pi to negative pi over two, but it's not inclusive of negative pi over two. So what we would, uh, we would close that off with a circle bracket like that. So notice it's inclusive of negative pi because there is a solid dot there. So we would put a square bracket there. It's inclusive of negative pi. And then it goes to negative pi over two, but it's not inclusive of negative pi over two because there's a vertical asymptote there. And then we're also going from negative pi over two to positive pi over two, not inclusive of those ends. And we're also going from positive pi over two to positive pi, and it's inclusive of positive pi because that's a solid dot there. Now, let's say this was an open dot like that, then this would be a circle bracket, but because it is indeed a solid dot at that positive pi, then that's a square bracket right there. It's inclusive of it. And so that is the domain right there. Notice it's these three sections over here. Now, what is the range going to be? Well, if you look closely, the range is actually y is an element of real numbers, or y is an element from negative infinity to positive infinity. It actually hits all the y values. Why? Because of this portion over here, or these two portions combined. Notice that this is going all the way to negative infinity for the y values, and then this is going all the way to positive infinity. And then all of these y values are defined. And then from here, it's going from zero to negative infinity. This is going from zero to positive infinity. And so all of the y values are defined for uh, this uh, relation. So the y values range from negative infinity to positive infinity. And then is this a function or not? Well, if we run a vertical line through it, notice it passes the vertical line test. So it indeed is a function. It doesn't fail the uh, vertical line test at any point. There's no multiple y values for a single x value. So those are the answers for this first graph over here. Now moving on to the second graph. Notice that this second graph here, it has a line here, and then we have this parabola over here. I just added this y value of negative four because I realized we're actually going to need it for uh, stating the uh, domain and range, the range more specifically. So let's start off with the uh, domain. What's the domain going to be here? Well, notice that this is an arrow over here. So this actually continues to go forever in this way. And so if you're looking at the x values, all the x values are actually gonna go to negative infinity because of this arrow. So if we start at negative infinity, remember for domain, we're always reading from left to right. So if we start at negative infinity, and then we move to the right, Notice that going along this parabola, this here is gonna be at an x value of two. And then notice that this point here is also at an x value of two. And they're both defined. 
And then this portion here goes from an x value of two to an x value of five. And so the domain is actually x is an element from negative infinity to positive five, and it's inclusive of that positive five because that's a solid dot right there. Right, so notice for the x values, there's no break. There's a break in the graph here, but in terms of the x values, there's no break. It goes from negative infinity, it's defined for both of these at an x value of two, and then it goes all the way to that x value of five. Now let's say that this uh, line here was starting at an x value of three, then there would be a break. This would be at an x value of two, and then the line would be starting at an x value of three, there would be a break over here, right? Then it would go from negative infinity to positive two, and then from three to five. But because both of these are at that same x value of two, there's no break there, all right? So it's from negative infinity to positive five, and then the range, the range is gonna be a little bit different because we're looking at the y values now. So we start from negative infinity and go to positive infinity. And notice that the y values, the absolute minimum of this relation here of this graph is at this y value of negative four. So notice the y values are going from negative four to zero to this point. So y is an element from negative four to zero. And then it's also going from one to positive infinity because of this portion. Even though this portion, the y values only go up to four, this arrow makes it continue going up until positive infinity to the y values of positive infinity. So this portion is going from one to positive infinity like that. So that's going to be the range. So this portion over here is here. And then um, you could just look at this portion over here from one to positive infinity. And then is it a function or not? Well, it's not a function because it fails the vertical line test specifically over here. At this x value of two, we have two y values, a y value of zero and a y value of four. You can't have multiple y values for a single x value in a function, so this relation ends up being not a function, all right? So the respective domain and ranges for both of these graphs, this graph here is a function, this graph here is not a function.